everybody. This is Amy Elmont with Teller Netcast, and joining me here today is Mark Platten with the CSU Extension. Welcome, Mark. Thank you, Amy. Good to be here again. Today, we're going to be talking about 4-H. What is 4-H? Absolutely. So 4-H is the largest youth program in the United States, uh, be- having between 6 and 7 million youth involved every year in 4-H. When you ask about what the four H's are, that's what everybody wants to know. So the four H's <laughs> are there actually for, H's? There are there H's. Are. <laughs> what they stand for? The first one is head. So it's kind of what we're thinking. So we're having really good, clear thoughts about things. The heart. You know, making sure we bring our heart into each and every action that we do, all the projects that we create. Um, our hands. Four uh, H's motto is we. You know, it's it's about doing. It's hands on activities. So our projects, our all the stuff we do, are hands on activities. So it's how we use our hands to create, to manifest. And then the final age is health. Before it started a little over 100 years ago, the majority of people didn't have electricity, didn't have running water, didn't have plumbing, uh, or, oh. or you know, so their outhouse was actually exterior to their house. house. It was yeah. out of the house. <laughs> and they didn't have a lot of, you know, the, the same seeds that they were growing that they had gotten from their father and from their father, the farmers and ranchers and so forth, kind of using the same kind of tools that they had for generations. And the research was going on in the university level, and the professors would go out and try to get in the fields and literally in the fields and and try to convince the farmers to adopt new seed varieties. But the farmers were, you know, not very trusting of, you know, government or educators or people who thought they knew more than than the farmers did, coming down and telling them what to do. Right. So we kind of went around it and asked if they could have their sons take an acre of land and grow some corn. This started in Iowa. The first 4-H clubs were called corn clubs, and then it moved into other avenues. But certainly 4-H is anchored in our ag. Um, that's our historic foundation. Okay. Uh, that's where we came from. That in the family consumer science. So teaching people how to can so they didn't poison themselves, storage of food, processing of food, sewing and clothing so that they could clothe themselves uh, using some of the materials that were maybe naturally there on the farm. Well, what kind of opportunities are there for leadership? We rely exclusively or very, very heavily on our volunteer cadre. Okay. Not only just as, as leading projects, but also in mid-level management tasks. So I have some of my managers doing putting together programs, mm-hmm. putting together uh, some of our camps and conferences that we do. They attend different leadership training and bring that back to, to provide uh, training back for our youth. Well, let's switch gears a little bit. Um, right. Let's talk about county <clears throat> fairs. The county fair is where the kids who have been doing their projects all year long, well, they come to showcase them. You know, all the kids who are doing, let's say, swine, they'll bring all their animals out there and they stand before a judge. And it's about not just what their animals look like, but what their showmanship quality is. So how wow. they present themselves. Are they are they looking at the judges? Are they presenting themselves properly? Are they answering questions? Are they always being the best they can be. So again, one of the other models of 4-H is to make the best better. So part of that is not just a project, but also our youth. Well, great. Thank you so much. It sounds like a wonderful opportunity both for the kids in our um, community here as well as adults who want to get involved and help. So Absolutely. Amy. That's great. Thank you so much for taking the time to come talk to us. Definitely contact Mark for more information if you're interested. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of ways to support and be a part of this great group. So again, I'm Amy Elmont. This is Mark Platten with the CSU Extension coming to you from Teller Netcast. Mm-hmm.